To find the formal charges for each element in BCl3, that's boron trichloride, we'll use this Lewis structure here and this equation. So let's do the chlorine first here. Chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7a. It has seven valence electrons when we look on the periodic table. Unbonded electrons for chlorine, those are the electrons that aren't involved in chemical bonds. We have two, four, six. We'll subtract from that half of the bonded electrons. That's these two right here. So two over two. Seven minus six minus one, that equals zero. So the formal charge on the chlorine is zero. And since these chlorines are all the same, formal charge in each one of those can be zero as well. For the boron, that's in group 13, sometimes called 3A. That has three valence electrons. We'll subtract the unbonded valence electrons. There aren't any. Everything here is involved in a chemical bond. That's zero. And then we'll subtract half of the bonded valence electrons. We have two, four, six. So six over two. Three minus three, that equals zero. So the formal charge on the boron here is zero. So all of our formal charges are zero, and that means this is the more favorable or likely Lewis structure for BCl3. You might be tempted to try to form a triple bond between the chlorine and the bromine to try to give the bromine an octet. If you do and you calculate the formal charges, they will not be zero. This is Dr. B with the formal charge for each element in boron trichloride. Thanks for watching.